And welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM. It's time to catch up with Dom Leach, president of the Oyen Rams Cricket Club in Oyen, to get our Rams report. Well, Dom, a big weekend off the park. Unfortunately, not two big results, but uh, we're all set to go. We've got the A grade in a grand final. And uh, let's just say fairly happy days, I think, within the club. Yeah, Ellis, I think it is. Um, our, unfortunately, our B graders, despite a fantastic win on the Saturday in the elimination final, couldn't repeat the heroics again on the Sunday, so they got bundled out in the in the prelim. But uh, the A grade are through to the grand final, and we're all pretty eager to get through to uh, Saturday. I have no doubt about that. Well, uh, it's going to be a huge day tomorrow. Let's talk about how we got here. So Robin Vale all out in the end for 116, and you guys, the A-grade Rams, getting up by 94 runs in the end. So a very decent result and performance against Robin Vale. You thought they might have been a bit of a banana peel going into this because we know they had their strengths. Yes, the Rams took care of them last time out, but you never know in finals cricket in the end stuck to your guns, did your side, Dom, and you got a grand final to look forward to now. Yeah, that's right. We did. I think we were probably a bit fortunate in winning the toss. We were able to bat first and runs on the board in a final are always uh, worth their weight in gold. Um, yeah, we posted 210, which was a good score. Um, probably headlined by Daniel Price, continuing on good form. He got 57 and Sam Magnus Hale's got a hard hitting 31 to push the run rate up at the end, so uh, for Robin Vale, Tom Lister took four for 33 and he was clearly the pick of their bowlers and in reply with, I suppose, a, a high run rate required, Robin Vale were never quite in the hunt. They were, yeah, all out 116 despite, um, yeah, good performances from some of their bats bats in the middle order. Um, it was probably Lockie Comrie, three for 12 and Daniel Price, three for eight and a hat-trick in a qualifying final. They got the job done for our boys. So, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good win and one that, yeah, obviously puts it straight through to the grand final tomorrow. Well, unfortunately for the B grade, not the case. They'll be nursing their wounds, losing to Nursery Ridge by 132 runs. But, gee, the pressure was on them to get two big results in the space of one weekend. So remind us firstly why that was with the scheduling the case in the B grade, Dom, and then take us through both B grade games on the weekend. Yeah, so the way it works is uh, B grade, same as the A grade, they play. Um, we have the qualifying and the elimination final, both played on the Saturday. The winner of the qualifying final goes straight through the grand final, but the the loser has to front up against the winner of the elimination final on the Sunday in the prelim. So our boys had a stirring win on the Saturday against the arch rivals Tempe. Um, they were able to post a really good score of 162, headlined by Phil Kewa, 50, and a hard-hitting 45 from Todd Barker. Uh, and once again, we saw the runs on the board too hard to chase. Uh, Tempe all out for 78 with Todd Barker. Four wickets with the ball, capped off his good day. So that, that propelled them through to the prelim, uh, where they had to front up on the Sunday against uh, Nursery Ridge, who lost on the Saturday, and uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't our boys' day. Uh, Nursery Ridge made a good score of 180 odd, and our boys were all out for 50. So, it uh, wasn't quite the fairy tale finish we would have hoped to have both teams make the, the big dance, but nonetheless, the B graders can be really proud of their efforts with a very youthful side, and uh, they're well led by Nick Vine. And I think to, to make a prelim for such a young team is a so we won't gloss over that. Just want to focus in on the Vines. So uh, Nick Vine, he does uh, a fair bit of co-curricular off the field, uh, getting those results into the Northwest Express with Tracy Lawson. And I believe he is the brother of the Oyen United Kangas netball star, Caitlin Vine. Uh, just tell us about the Vines. Obviously a bit of a sporty family. Yeah, they are. They're a sporty family. They're, they're really community-orientated family, I suppose. Um, yeah, Nick's worth at the club is... is yeah, second to none. Um, he's our secretary, our B-grade captain, looks after all the scores and basically just gets all the jobs done that need doing. Um, yeah, he's, uh, Caitlin, his sister, does a great job with the football and the netball club. And uh, he's got a couple of brothers that play in the A's and the B's as well. And um, yeah, probably they just take over the mantle from Raylene, their mum, who's done a, a heap of community work over many decades. So yeah, it's people like that that make more towns and more sporting clubs what they are. And without them, would be an awful strike. Yeah, we want to be able to profile as many of those types of individuals and families in regional Australia as we can. 
Dom, uh, let's stick with B grade. Tell us what else happened across the weekend and what we have to look forward to tomorrow in the B grade grand final. Yeah, so the B grade curl, uh, they won the direct route through the grand final with a good win on the on the Saturday. Um, and then Nursery Ridge uh, bounced back from that loss to get the job done on the Sunday. So it'll be a, a rematch of the, the qualifying final, 1v2 all year. Uh, Nursery Ridge had been the standout team, but Kerwa jumped them in the qualifying final. So they get another crack at them. And I think those two teams will go at it um, Yeah, pretty hard. I, I think Nursery Ridge probably that have to be my tip. Um, uh, I think they probably bat bat pretty deep and bowl pretty deep and um, there's a lot of experienced A-grade cricketers running around on that B-grade team. So uh, it'll be a good game, but I'd, if I had to tip one, I'd be saying Nursery Ridge will just get over the line. There we have it. All right, well, let's talk Redcliffe's cricket A-grade grand final, the Owen Rams defending their title, of course. Dom, tell us everything we need to know. Well, it's a grand final rematch from 12 months ago and there was only one wicket um, separating the teams last year. Uh, we were fortunate enough to fall on the right side of the ledger 12 months ago and I think it really could be anyone's game tomorrow. Um, both teams have got plenty of plenty of match winners. I mean, look, you look across the Tempe side, they've got the likes of Ronnie McKay and Ben Mole, Tate Holland, who's in great form. They could all make really big scores and, and high contributions. And with the ball, the likes of Zach Robbie and and Ben Mole, Nick Monaghan, uh, they're all match winners, so uh, they could all easily have a have a really big influence on the game. And on the flip side, um, we've got some handy players too. Um, Connor Schultz has made a lot of runs for the year, and Alex Morris has, um, I think, he averaged six for the year with the ball, so he's a he's a real uh, a match winner possibility for us. And I think that the teams are really evenly matched and. I think it'll be a, a really close game, which will probably go down to the wire, much the same as it did 12 months ago, which will be great for cricket if it does. Well, Don, we better just find out how Tempe got into the grand final. So, obviously, this is a game that couldn't be any bigger, but uh, why don't you just let us know about uh, how Tempe got on in their semi final on the weekend? Yeah, so Tempe's run to the grand final was probably as predicted. Um, they were a bit of a sleeping giant. I think I called it a month or so ago that they've got a good good team. They just had to put it all together at the right time. Uh, so they got the job done in the elimination final, beating temp, uh, beating Fire Brigade fairly resoundingly down at the Tempe Rec Reserve and therefore got the the game in the prelim on the Sunday where they got to take on a uh, probably a slightly wounded Robin Vale and um, after posting 170 odd, uh, the runs on the board were in Tempe's favour and Robin Vale and despite a few, uh, a small partnership earlier, Robin Vale Struggled to uh, to ever get their run rate going. They're all out for less than a half. So um, they won. They came through the hard way, but having to win the Saturday and the Sunday. But nonetheless, they're there. And um, as I said, full of uh, match winners, and uh, it'll be a fantastic game of cricket on tomorrow. Sure will be. Well, before we let you go, just tell our listeners exactly what's going on with regards to the schedules for both the A and B grade grand finals. Where, when, and what time? So both. Both games at, at uh, Kwandong Park, Redcliffe's uh, 1 o'clock start. Uh, the B grade is Nursery Ridge versus Curla, played at Fire Brigade ground. Uh, and in the A grade, it's the Ian Rams versus Tempe Tigers, uh, 1 o'clock start at Nursery Ridge's ground, known as the Onion Patch. And, yeah, hopefully there's a really good crowd in attendance um, to cap off what's been a, a good year for all involved. I'm sure there will be, Dom. What's the club doing in terms of any pre- or post-game festivities? And, uh, yeah, have you got uh, have you got many plans? I know it's all about the game and you want to focus on that, but uh, there's nothing quite like grand final fever. <laughs> Yeah, there is, and I think the key, the trick is to try and keep it low key if we can. Um, I think, yeah, win, lose, or draw, we'll we'll stick together to, uh, tomorrow night. But um, yeah, it's, it's all eyes are on Saturday for now, and then uh, regardless of what happens, uh, we have our presentation on the next uh, the Sunday. So um, hopefully, without too many sore heads, uh, everyone will front up on the Sunday morning and. Um, we get a really good attendance with families and, and, and young ones and um, we can celebrate um, a good year for, for both grades regardless of the result on the weekend. Look, I think we might have the uh, all-time record-breaking delivery of Zinger boxes into Oyen on Sunday morning there, Dom. Uh, 
But uh, look, all the very best. I hope the uh, Oyen Rams can uh, front up for the big game. I'm sure there'll be no issues with that. Dom Leach, president of the Oyen Rams, great to be with you again. We'll speak to you next week and find out exactly how it all went. Look forward to it. Thanks, Alice. Cheers. We'll be catching up with Bruce Phillips again right after this short break to hear all about some country footy leagues starting back up in South Australia. Don't go anywhere. It's the Flow Friday Sports Show.